Ibrahim. I say it right? Yeah, you said it right. All right, man. I got that right. Okay. So interesting thing about you. I was watching you earlier. I saw your last name. Soliev? Yep. Soliev. So I'm looking at your last name. I'm watching you wrestling. I'm like, that dude's for sure Russian. Yeah. Okay. Did I nail it? You did. You did. Okay, where are you from in Russia? Uh, South Ossetia. South Ossetia. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They've had some good wrestlers come out of there. Yeah, they have a lot of good wrestlers. I mean... I was joking. They have great, they have great wrestlers yeah, come they, out of there. They have... Their schools are amazing. They're really good. They're really good. Um, it's just a whole different whole different training style. The things they do is much different from like, things that people do in America. The training is just completely It's different. so completely different. I was watching you wrestle with Coach Roper. You guys were sparring a little bit. And a lot of yours isn't like move to move to move. It's just like a lot of positioning is what I noticed. Yeah. Is that the biggest thing you would probably notice? Yeah, definitely. It's like you have to flow really well. I mean, if you enjoy it and you're having fun and you're kind of understanding positioning instead of being really stiff and kind of trying to like, I mean, some for some wrestlers that works a lot, you know, they've, they've achieved a lot with that type of style, but I think it's really important to understand position in order to kind of evolve yourself as a wrestler. So you, I think I'm getting better at that. You were born into the Russian system and then yeah. you're you're in it till you're nine. When did you start? I started when I was six, seven. My dad actually he was big um they had three wrestlers for uh Fadzaev, or Fadzaev. So my dad was one of them. But kind of like my grandpa, my dad's dad, he didn't want to wrestle anymore for, for his reasons and that his career kind of ended there. So my first time in the gym, it was just me playing on the ropes and just having fun, talking to people and then I kind of started to get a little more mature and kind of start to understand the sport a little better. Is that what made you really interested in the fact that you could come in and actually have fun yeah. before you wrestle? Like we have kids here who wrestle 100 matches when they're six, seven, eight years old. Yeah. How bad do you think that is for like? Would that would that have turned you off in the sport? You think? I feel like it's like depends on the person. For me, it was I feel like I'm more involved in being very like really successful in the future. And, and, in the world Olympic levels, but I, can, I don't really like to think that far ahead. I mean, I'm still in high school and sophomore, so I think it just depends on the person. I mean, if if you're wrestling so many matches as a young kid, I think I think it's just hard. You know, like, it just wears you out. So looking at it, you know, you're here. This is a college combine. That means that you know the idea is college coaches are here to recruit you. When you get to past your senior year here at Bergen Catholic, what path, what's the path for you? Do, you? do you go to freestyle in Greco? Do you stick with, do you try and go to college in Russell? What do you do? That's a big decision for you, right? Yeah, I mean, I want to go to college. I definitely want to go to a good college, but like I've recently I've been with Valentin Kavika for two months before he... You went. and Valentin went over? Yeah, I trained with the team. We met here actually, and then I, went, I started to go to New York and we started like my style and kind of got closer. I got to meet Helen as well. And, I mean, I feel I feel really comfortable around him, but I definitely want to go to college. But I don't want to be focused on folk style as much as I want to be focused on freestyle. I, I mean, I want to. It's like the international tournaments are really important. For me. I think that helped me evolve as a wrestler much, much quicker than folk style. So. So where do you, you guys, you know, you guys come over when you're nine years old, right? Yeah. And then your mom and your stepdad are here. Your dad's still back in Russia, right? Yeah. So first off, your English is, I don't even like hear an accent. It's I know, incredible. I know, everybody says that, but when you're young, it's easy to learn the language. I think so. I, I mean, as you get older, it gets harder and harder because you've been so used to the language you've been speaking. But yeah, it, was, it wasn't that hard. My parents just put me in school and... Yeah, the ESL system. Where they English as yeah. a second language? Yeah. Exactly. So that really helped you? Yeah. So how much different would you say the education system is from, obviously, Russia to the United States? It's drastically different? Um, it's different in a way of, like, if you don't go, there's no college. I mean, I, I feel like the system is kind of corrupt, corrupt because, it's like, if you want to go to college, 
like my sister went to college and she she was a really good student, she was a really good college, but she couldn't go with my head because she had to pay extra money and the teachers were asking for it. So it's kind of corrupt, but... You're saying Russia's corrupt? Yeah, I, I mean, I feel like the, the school system is, but it's getting better and better. Like, I used to wear a suit and tie every day when I was young. Really? Yeah, that's what you had to wear. I used to walk to school, it was pretty close. My school was pretty close, so I used to walk. Um, my dad would drop me. Is there any doubt you can't win a New Jersey State title this year? You know, last year you were sick for the postseason. Yeah. This year, is there any doubt in your mind you can't win? I mean, I want to win, so I'm just, I'm going to try my best to um, just keep evolving the sport, and I guess I'll just let kind of God you know, take it. I'll just leave it up to God at the end of the day. That tournament, I'm just going to try to have fun and wrestle as best as I could. And I think if I wrestle the way I wrestle, I can, I can, I can win the New Jersey State. Okay, they say if you don't use it, you lose it. Yes. How's your Russian? It's not that bad. I mean, in Russia, there's different dialects, so I know pretty, I know different languages. And, but my Ruski is, is bad. Right? So when I say to you, Yane Govaro Poruski, you know what I just said, right? Yeah, you said that I don't speak in Russian. Yeah, because I don't. G'dayest, g'dayest, what do I say? G'dayest. I don't know, yeah, I know. G'day asked where is. That was like how I figured out he's Russian yeah. and stuff. Yeah, but you're Russian? How do you say this? What? Pretty good? Russian? Yeah. Pretty good? Um, like my friends, people I got to meet in the academy and, and at the Indian Olympic and even at camp to lunch in the mountains, it was, they, they all made fun of my Russian because it was just, I was butchering it. And I mean, I got to meet a lot of good people. I got to talk to Soslan and he really... Soslan Romanov, Olympic champ. Yeah, he's, he's pretty good. He's very good. His positioning and his, how he works with his hands is unbelievable. So, yeah. All right, you got a test coming up here. You guys got pull-ups and stuff to do. You got anything else for me? No, um, thanks for the meeting. All right, hey, thanks for the time. Good luck. We'll be checking you out later this season. Yeah, thank you.